Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. In today's video, we're back over on the test server to take a look at Cecilia. The patch has dropped. She's in the game. We're going to summon for her and hopefully pull her to test her. If not, we've got her in one of the um, peaks of time, so we'll go test her out there. So let's get into the video. Fair warning on this one. I think she's going to be really really strong i don't want to lean into op let's say i reckon she's gonna be op she looks ridiculous when we test it she looks nuts okay let's let's go into test hero as you can see she she appears behind the furthest enemy puts those marks on drops the circle that and remember that circle's reducing their attack by 60 percent um she i don't know she reminds me of like a paladin like a retribution paladin from world of warcraft where the like it's a sword but like the hammer drops on the head uh you get little stacks it just it just reminds me of that whole system. Anyway, some of you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. But the fact that she replaces her circle is the crazy thing. That's a 60% damage reduction and she replaces it. So she's just going to always go to the targets and then drop a circle, reducing their attack by 60%. That is nuts. And on top of that, she's got this massive execute dagger that drops on their heads. I just, I think she's going to be crazy. And a lot of people mentioned it in the comments in my last video when we talked about her coming to the game. Let's get some support for Graveborn and Maulers. Let, let's give them some good heroes. Lightbearers are just, they, they're stupidly broken at the moment. Like, not broken, they're just, they're way stronger than anyone else. Uh, Wilders are in a good place. Wilders are really supportive, really good. They've got their damage dealing now with Solus, and they've got Euron. They, they're really good. Give the other two some love. Let, let, let's, let's spread the love and show them some goodness. But the fact that she redrops this circle, I thought the circle, and it's pretty big. I mean, I thought that circle was going to be a tiny little thing, like sort of that big, you know, covering one enemy. But it's a decent sized circle, and she replaces. I cannot wait to test her on my um, Celestial Hypergene account. We're definitely going to go Light Bearers on that one from now on, uh, and test her with Euron. I just think the synergies between Euron grouping everyone up and making her run over to, to them and then drop the circle, uh, you're just going to have so much damage mitigation. And I don't know, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. Obviously, I can't test it at the moment, but if Euron pulls them at the very start of the battle before she places her circle and she runs to them before she places that circle, then it's just GG. I can't wait to see. Cannot wait to see. Let's go ahead and jump into some summons and see if we can pull it. We've got a few saved. We've been really, really, really lucky on this one uh, in the past with the last two heroes. We got it in the first two summons. So let's hope we can do it again. Let's start with a single friendship. That would be nuts. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now. Okay. We've got 30 of these. Got some diamonds. Got some faction scrolls. Let's, let's see what we can do. I'm hoping. I got the fingers crossed. I, I, really, I really want to summon her because... I just like testing them in campaign. Even though she's only at Elite, this, this account's still fairly early. We might get some good testing out of her. Uh, here we go. This is the guaranteed. So not great rates. To Tassie. Let's let's do the factions. Let's do these factions. I just I just want to see. Damn it. Damn it. All right. If we have to, we'll do the single faction scrolls. And uh, I'll just edit them out if we don't get anything. Uh, let's do these. Come on, she I, and I did put her on the wish list before anyone says anything. I did put her on the wish list. Pharrell, not what we want. Oh, come on, surely we can get a Cecilia. It's not that hard, is it? Let's go, come on. I just want to test her. Come on, guys. I mean, I emailed AFK Arena before this and said, make sure you give me Cecilia. Damn it. Not really, jokes. Come on. Okay, back to back, we'll take it. Be, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, this is the new thing. So, the, the, oh, Jesus. I, I tell you what, okay. This, this is always fascinating to me. Uh, I wish I could just, okay, anyway. This is the new thing here. You can click this and you can go straight into this. I like that. I like that you can collect that straight away when you summon the hero. But hey, look at us. <laughs> We've got a Cecilia. Nice. Okay, that's all we needed to do. We don't need to do the singles. Kind of tempted to do the singles to get the faction card and maybe get her... You know what? You know what? Let's, let's do another 10 pull anyway. Because we've got two in a row. So we're not going to get a purple here. So this is just priming the next summon session. But it gives us this. Let's see if we can get a second copy. Uh, we've got an auto ascent. Okay. 
Wait, when do when do we get assault? Oh yeah, we got one from the event. That's right. I hadn't played that since then. Okay. Okay. Cecilia, come to me. If we get another Cecilia, that's dope. Nah, okay. Okay, Hendrik, we will take your hundred diamonds too. Sweet. I do like that. I do like that. I still want to collect all. I still want when we go here. I want to collect all button. Just give me that collect all. I don't want to click on all these guys. Uh, okay. Okay. Now we can put her in the crystal. Yoink. Where is she? There she is. I, I really do like her design. I think her design is really, really cool. I like the whole wall behind it. I, I just like it. I really do. Uh, where is she? There we go. Equip gear. What do we got? Do we have some better gear that we can put on her? Who's got the best gear there? Maybe you? No. Well, let's, let's just check this. Maybe Forks has it. No, she's got the best gear. Okay. <laughs> we, we've just got really bad gear is, is the situation here. That's okay. Let's go ahead and test her out. Uh, man, I really got to do some stuff on this, this test server, but it's just, it's hard because it's a separate app. I mean, I like just switching servers in the same app. I'm sorry guys. Okay. Let's jump in. She fits in well. Let's, let's do this. Okay. So leave Shamir up front because she's like the next best tank. We'll leave him in there. I mean, she's just good because she's got the synergy with all the light bearers. Actually, I kind of want to test her there. So we're going to do this. J just because I want to test her going against... Actually, let's test her in the front row. Ooh. Will she drop her circle around three enemies in the front row? Ooh. I like the sound of that. I do like the sound of that. Let's do that so we get a better faction bonus and hopefully survive a bit better. Okay. Drop the circle. Okay, that guy sort of ran out of it. I'm not sure if all those guys are can. Was that was that her ultimate? Okay, that ultimate looks sick. Oh, so the other one she drops is just a little thing. Right, let's play a few more stages. I like this. I really do like this. Okay, wait. wait. Okay, so that's, oh, that's what it is. Okay, I get it. I get the difference. I get the difference. So when they've got the three stacks, I think it's the three stacks of the, the debuff, it starts out as three swords and goes down because that's when you're getting the extra stun effect from it. Let's quickly check damage. Curious. Okay, she's not doing much damage, but she looks cool and she's got the ring. All right, let's try her in a different position. Let's try her down here. Actually, let's try it. Now that, okay. So now the idea is that's a melee, runs in, she's going to jump into melee range and put it around the three of them. Let's test it. Okay, not too bad. It'll be a definite play around on every single stage to decide how it's going to work. Um, but I like it so far. I really do like it. I'm going to take it off auto so Shamira doesn't ult. We, we need to get more of her thingy majiggies on more people. So that her ultimate does the three sword thing. The three sword thing looks cool. Or maybe it does one sword for every... Uh, see, they're dying too quick. Okay, let's let's put the shield on. I, I want to get it. Actually, let's go to the guild hunt. Let's go to the guild hunt. Good idea. Great idea. Okay, we'll come back here. Because I still want to play with her more. She's fun. She's sick. I cannot wait. They just keep putting fun mechanics. Like I said, I loved Sylvina. People are saying Athalia, she's more like Athalia, but I, I just mean the fact that she, like, Athalia, you see it coming. I like the just instant appear behind someone. I think it's cool. I really do like it. I like it. I really do. Okay, let's challenge. Uh, let's go with, uh, put Shamira in there, we'll put you in there, and we'll put you in there. Is that pretty good? That's, we'll just leave it at that. Leave it at that. Okay. So, I want to see her ultimate. Is what I want to see. I want to see these things stack. I want to see the the multi. Okay, so it's got he's got three stacks on him. Four stacks. Four stacks. It can stack to five. Okay, there it is. The the three swords. I love it. I actually love that. Okay, and it consumes the stacks when she uses it. Okay, so she drops it. Okay, maybe only when when she does it on a five stack. I like the little symbol. I like the, how it makes the star. So now it's the five stacker. 
means it gets that extra big burst damage and then it consumes them. But if it doesn't do it on a um, five stacker, it adds one. I think that's how it's working. Let's see, let's see. So this is still only four, now it's up to five. So next ultimate will consume them. And I mean, she's reducing his attack. Like she's reducing his attack by 60% the whole battle. This is good. The more I play with her, the more I like it. Okay, this is nuts. So she, she she's godly in Riz. She's got faction advantage. She's got big damage. She's got factional advantage. She's got big damage. And she's got a 60% damage reduction or attack reduction for the whole fight against Riz. That's stupid. And I mean, like not bad damage considering really horrible gear. Oh, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to summon for this chick. This is actually ridiculous. Okay, let's go back into campaign because I'm having fun. I'm actually having fun on this. This is sick. Like, this makes me want to start a fresh account. Like, Solus was tempting because you had the free copy to do, like, rerolls. But this, this is amazing for, like, a carry hero. Yes, you need some support. You need, like, the Rowan. But the fact that, you know, anyone that comes near her gets the damage reduction, as long as you have something to distract the, uh, the annoying enemies, like... Like, like, for instance, this one, you know, like, if she's a carry damage dealer and you put her up here, she attacks the savvies, everyone else will eventually run to her. I don't know. I'm just thinking she's going to be nuts. It's my, it's my feel. It's my vibe. Okay. Let's do this again. Let's see. Okay. So we missed the circle on a lot of people, which sucks. We got spiderwebbed, which sucks as well. So it's definitely going to be a case by case state thing on each stage that you jump into with her on whether she's going to dominate. But man, this chick is nuts. Like this kit, I definitely feel like is too good to be a light bearer kit. I feel like it it's meant to be a celestial or a dimensional. That's my that's my feel. You know what I really wish? I wish the stacks of her thingy majiggy. I can't remember what it's called, but the little the the little um star things that form. I wish when she killed an enemy, they transferred over to the next enemy. That would be cool. Um, because it's hard to get the max the full extent of it. But still. But still nice. Obviously, so yeah. So you can see against the Riz fight, where it's single target, she really does... Because she's a single target damage dealer. She's got massive single target damage and that damage reduction. This is actually so nice. Um, let's let's try just putting her up against this K-Source and see where her thing lands. Out of curiosity. So when she put when you put her on the outskirts, she's really going to miss it with the circle. But it's okay because now she's going to run, and she should drop it. And the K source takes the damage when he leaves the circle as well. Maybe she has she has to leave the circle to be able to drop a fresh one. Maybe that's what it is. Oh no, it just disappears and then she drops a fresh one wherever she is. I mean, look at her surviving. It's so like. I'm just like gobsmacked at how good it is because she distracts the enemies as well. So you put her onto like, if you have her like half decently ascended, you put her on like a Savius who's an absolute pain. She's got faction advantage. So pretend this dude's a Savius. So she goes behind that Savius, reduces attack by 60% and she's got factional advantage. She takes jackal damage and absolutely just destroys him. Like, look at that. She pretty much one shot that thing. Like it's... It's good. And then and then her circle will go away. And then whatever enemy she's on now, like right now, she's going to put another circle down and reduce their damage. And I mean, that execute for an elite copy basically one shot that enemy. I, I just, I, I can't believe how good this is. It, let me, okay, let me know in the comments if I'm being stupid and she's not that good. But I think she is amazing. I think this is going to be nuts. Uh, let's try this. Let's try this. I want to see what happens with the whole melee heroes. Okay, so she's going to go backwards and attack the back row. That's that's the kind of annoying thing. Oh, wait. Let's try again. Wait, it's because it's because I got... Uh, can I get a way to make her go forward more? I don't think so. So I feel like maybe... 
So that was a good ring. You get you get two two in the ring. So it looks like you're maxing out two, sometimes maybe three in the ring. Um, but not too bad. Because I mean there's that damage mitigation. And she's light bearers. So you just put her with with a bloody a um a Lucius, a Rowan, and a Rosaline, and then whoever you want. Um or you do you do the forks and then you can put like a Arden or a Pharrell, like you know what I mean? You can you can do that one hero of a different faction to get some instant CC. So like early game, you're looking her with a Lucius, obviously you need the RNG to pull the other guys, but her with Lucius, uh Rowan, and then like like I said, Rosaline or any other light bearer, Forks, and then you just throw an Arden in there for the instant CC, the instant gratification. Or you could do her, Rowan, Lucius, uh, Lyca, and Arden just so you can get the speed buff, the haste buff at the start, and land your CC. Like, I'm just absolutely gobsmacked. She is so good. This is, like, I, like I'm pumped. I'm absolutely pumped. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We finally get to test it. The one problem is that she misses out on Rowan's potion, so you really need a Lucius. So I think, but on my other account, I do have the Taylene. So I, I think she's out of range for the potions. We'll, we'll see when she drops low. Okay, so look at this. She's distracting that Savius. Okay, so that Savius is dropping her pretty hard, but she's only elite, remember? She gets the ult off, we get the shield. And like, I mean, she's just... That's that's at elite. This is at elite. And this is with her not getting Rowan potions. Okay, she died. Kind of shattered my dreams a little bit there, but come on, she's only elite. I mean, I like it. I really do like it. I feel like it's good. I feel like she's going to be amazing. And like I said, the fact that she's light bearers and there's so many good light bearers is actually nuts. But okay, I'm, I'm going to stop playing with her because I feel like I'm taking this video too long and I'm just being gobsmacked the whole time. But man, this chick is nuts. Chick is busted. I'm really excited for it. Can't wait for her to come to... I'm a, mm, I like my celestial have a gen account. I wanted it to be fairly free to play, but I might I might buy a little pack or something. To just I, I don't know. I kind of really want to get her to at least legendary plus and push me thick because I've got a Hogan legendary plus sitting on that account, and I really want to test her out. I really really want to test her. Out. Anyway, anyway, we, we, we're gonna count it there. That is Cecilia. Damn nice hero. Like ridiculous like she was doing that at elite with very very poor gear and we've got to remember the tree as well okay so so when we look here like i don't have much upgraded here receive yep i can't even check them but you got to consider the tree bonuses as well so when she drops low she's going to get that shield i'm pretty sure is what it is um she's gonna get the extra damage at level 10 i just think she's gonna be nuts anyway i'm gonna shut up because i've gone way too long that is cecilia absolute beast we summoned her pretty pumped about that um gonna do a big summon session i reckon when she comes to the game but that is gonna be it for this one guys thanks for watching and i look forward to seeing the next one cheers